All right, everybody, it's 1988. Wilson Gooseneck here. It is a funny name when you think about it. They came out with Wilson Staff. That's what Wilson's pros were playing with. Then they have Ping I2, you have McGregor VIP, and Wilson comes out with Gooseneck. <laughs> Maybe it's just silly. Maybe it's something that was made just for me and people with my type of personality. It seems like a fun name. And you think about geese, you know, every time you hit a goose, you know, on a golf course, you know, luckily I've never killed a goose, but if you did, what do you do? It's like, you call the clubhouse, hey, there's a dead goose on green number nine. What are they gonna tell you? Preheat the oven to 420 degrees. It's like, you're, you're gonna burn it. So for me, this is interesting because it seems to capture the fun side of Wilson during this era where the embedded, entrenched, forged irons are not so popular. Everybody on golf likes to jump on the same wagon, right? And so right now in the 80s, when this was made, everybody's on this cast steel, forgiving, offset, big ping eye, bandwagon and they're just moving along at full steam and Wilson comes out with this it's like wait a second is this a fun forged club no way to have a closer look at this goose we're actually going to go preheat the oven identifying mark's staff up here by the sole the wilson staff logo a picture of a goose with goose neck and script i love that little goose right there it's a red goose moving to the sole wilson in red and the iron number here. It looks like that was originally painted black. As we move to the toe, you can see the thicker top line right here, which doesn't look that thick at a dress, but it's slightly thicker than the mid portion right here, followed by this thicker weighted sole. Very interesting. Interesting shape here to the face as well. Looks very modern, no nonsense grooves, rounded leading edge. There's some offset here. Moving up to the hosel, we see what looks like knurling. On close inspection, it looks like little vertical lines. So not a crisscross knurling. And then we have a black ferrule with a red gold black cap right here. It looks like this one's warped a little bit. And this particular one looks like it's been reshafted because there is this label on it. McGregor Turney Precision Rifle Shaft right here. Interesting. With a... Uh, win grip obviously not original so with all of that we should take this out onto the range and see if we can find some geese lovely at address a little offset here for a blade it looks very wilson-esque so let's give this a whirl see how we do with this thing beautiful gives good feedback Definitely felt that one just a little skinny. There's a good hit. Even through the 80s, Wilson had some great blades here. Very playable. I can understand why they were one of the major manufacturers. For me, this is fun, and I'm not one to measure, you know, well, this weight up top, it's gonna reduce your spin by 200 revs. I, you know, I don't have the data, okay? And I don't really care about the data when I'm hitting a club like this, because it's for fun, right? It's one of those things you take out on the course, you figure it out, get a set of these, they're beautiful, they're fun, they're quirky. People are like, gooseneck, what the? Did, a, did any pros ever win with that? What, they'd be playing Wilson Staff, wouldn't they? So for me, I just like the feel of it, so, I'm excited to get these in my bag. When if I find a set of these, I don't have a set, I only have like two, I think I have the three iron and I have the six iron. If I get a complete set, I am absolutely 100% gonna take that out and play that set. It's so much fun to hit this, these clubs, this club in particular. So let me know your thoughts about Wilson, the 80s, the cast steel taking over, the forged irons. Is that still a phenomenon? There seem, it seems to kind of, just go back and forth, doesn't it? Wilson Staff, Gooseneck. Excited to read your comments. If you want to support the channel, please visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I make money from qualifying purchases. You can always subscribe, hit that bell icon if you want email notifications when I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.